Hey guys, I got this package from uh, JJ80 on UKLogsport.co.uk. Uh, we, we did a trade and uh, he did a vid yesterday uh, showing what he got on his side of the trade. So I thought uh, I'd do the same here. Package is here, so um, so let's have a have a look um, on what there is. Uh, it's an unopened package and uh, I'm, he's, I know that he's got me a challenge lock in here as well as a squire um, so I was going to have a go at opening one of his challenge locks on, on camera uh, out of the packet because uh, he does some really really nice funky spools and uh, serrated and whatnot and I just thought let's, let's just see how it goes and uh, have a pop at that but uh, huge thanks to JJ for, for, for sending this to me. And uh, so we can uh, open it like, uh, like so. And first, uh, this, what we got, what we got. Oh, okay, this is a little pick he mentioned he was going to send me. Nice little half diamond. Check that. That's nice. That's cool. Cheers, mate. That looks great. We might have, we're going to have a pop at that. And what the other one is, is the Squire. Now, JJ said to me that... Uh, that uh, this was a Squire Stronghold. I didn't know Squire did the Stronghold series in cylinders. I thought it was just a a, um, a padlock range. Um, but nice little nice little keyway there. If you can see uh, a six pin cylinder. Uh, that's going to be a nice pick. Cheers, mate. That's uh, it's great. Anti snap and boundaries on the cylinder here. Uh, anti staff no doubt anti everything else so <laughs> should be fun and then and then we've got the challenge lock so with JJ's reputation of producing really cool spools I'm uh, what's going on here okay that was my fault not a lock uh, yeah well, there's no telling what this is going to be like because uh, you can't judge a book by its cover on all that but let's have a pop and see what we've got in here he does some really, really deep, ugly, dog ugly spools and such. And uh, we're going to have some fun with this, no doubt. See what we can do with tension. It's a bit too. Now let's try some. Body body things. That's that's the prime bar regular, which fits. Okay, so we're gonna prime bar regular. We'll try that. Goes away. And why don't we use JJ's pick? <laughs> See what happens, huh? It's going to be a fail or success. Oh my god, okay. It's uh, <laughs> a five pinner. So this guy, he walks into a bar with a, a 
crocodile underneath his arm. And he walks into the bar and says, uh, and the barkeep sees this crocodile underneath this guy's arm. And he says to the guy, here, you can't bring that in here. That's a crocodile. That might, you know, you can't bring a crocodile into a bar. And the guy says, look, he's okay. He's a crocodile, but he's harmless. He's not going to harm anybody, yeah? So the bar keeps says, no, 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 no. Crocodiles scare people off, yeah? Can't have him in here. And the guy said, look, I'll prove to you that this crocodile is completely harmless. Yeah? So the barkeep says, okay, well, let's just see what happens, yeah? Let's, let's just give it a ride this out and see what happens. Go on then, show us, show us what you're going to do. So the guy picks up the crocodile and lays him out on the bar, you see. And then the guy unzips his trousers, gets his old uh, John Thomas out, opens up the jaws of the crocodile, and then just lays it on top of the teeth of the crocodile, you see. Anyway, so there it is in the jaws of the crocodile, and he takes this really heavy beer jugs and slams it down really hard on the top of the head of this crocodile. It's getting really sweaty, this pig. And so, so crocodile jaws slowly, slowly close down on this guy's pork sword, yeah? And they're about an inch away from the flesh, yeah? And well, and then, before they touch, they open up again, yeah? So they assemble people in the bar, like, you know, just gasp in amazement and whatnot. And the guy takes his old, uh, his old manhood, proudly flops it back in his trousers, and uh, looks at the barman. And the barman says, well, no, 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 you're not giving me that. You could have trained him to do that. It could be just you. He could still harm anybody in this bar, yeah? No, you can't keep him. So, the guy turns to everybody in the bar and says, look, who wants to try this out? Who wants to show the barman that this crocodile is completely harmless? You have a go at this, I'll buy you drinks for the night, yeah? Come on, first one up. That's, you know, who wants to try? This arm, this crocodile is completely armless, yeah? So, everybody's like sitting there in silence, yeah? Nobody's saying a word. People are like looking at the wall looking at their drinks. And the, and the guy says, and uh, the guy says, come on, you know, who wants to try this out? And there's just complete silence. No one moves. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, and then this guy, this, this little old lady right at the back stands up and she says, yeah, okay, 
I'll give it a go, but please don't hit me so hard with the beer jug. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, he's open. <laughs> Let's have a look at what JJ's put in this, shall we? Um, uh, yeah, you can see me, can't you? It's not out of shot or anything funky. Yeah, it's one of these uh, screw jobbies. which will fly out, no doubt. Yeah, little pinny thing, little spring to lose, and uh, let's just whop this out, shall we? Can still see me? Yeah, she can still see me. Ooh! Hey, there's counter milling on the on the top of these uh, plug stacks. Ooh. Come back here, you little monkeys. That's the little spring from the back pin. Still, still see me. Okay. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at the key pins. Five key pins. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you gotta you gotta see this. I thought they were just gonna be regular key pins and funky spools, but that's not the case. Let's dump it out on here. Uh, tweezers, tweezers. Okay, number one, oh, she's pretty, is a double serrated, oh that's really nicely done, it's a double serrated, oh, I'll bring this closer, it's a double serrated key pin, really sweetly done. Then there's another serrate, oh no, oh, I don't even know what to call him. It's just funky. Another double serration, but completely different from that one. It's really nice how the, you know, the, it's still keyed, yeah? This is like just one of the ugliest monkey spool key pins you could ever possibly wish to meet. Oh, JJ's generous, you know, I mean, he's even put an ordinary one in here. <laughs> and, yeah, and the back one is ordinary. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five in that order. And um, I didn't really do a, a, a particularly nice job of dumping the, the driver pins, but have a look at what we got. Oh, they're gorgeous. The only where's the first one? Oh, here he is. Got him. It's a mushroom. Isn't he sweet? Isn't that sweet? Okay, let's try and give a little bit of focus on this puppy. So I put this on manual focus, never used this on manual focus before. Give a little bit of an adjustment. Yeah. 
now. Can you see that? Oh, I won't go any further than that. So look at them. This is like a double spool key pin. Yeah. I'll try and hold it from the end. Really nicely done. I mean, they're not, sh they're really nicely made, yeah? This is, this key pin's got two serrations on the top. This poppy's going to drop you into an incredible false set. Look at that. Can you see him? I hope you can see him because he's really nice. And then two regular guys. And then there's this, like it's like an Asa spool driver pin because it's got this sort of step on the on the uh, on the end. I'm sort of looking at the screen and looking at the. And then there's another one the same, no, different lengths, but the same layout. Then there's this sort of like, you know, something out of Alice in Wonderland type spooly thing, whatchamacallit. And then there's a, a, a spool, a regular spool, and then a, a really nice mushroom. <laughs> really cool. Look, and there's some, I don't know if he's put these, um, these serration, these counter millions in the, the stacks himself, but hold on. That's stack five. That's stack three. That's stack two. Damn, they're they're even serrated different. I think like you know five has got got about five serrations on it. Four, it's got about two serrations. Three, three serrations, then two serrations, and then two serrations. Wow, he's done an incredibly cool job of this. There, you can see that, because I can see you see that. Yes, baby, you can see that. That is a really nice job. Thanks very much, mate. Pleasure doing a trade with you. I look forward to the next time.